Okay, so here's a fix for if you are trying to create a new Docker image or container and it says port in use because the default port is always the same and it's really, really frustrating, right? So let me just open my instance of Docker. I'm just going to stop these. You can do this on the command line if you prefer, but you could see that these two were working and I've created these recently with custom ports. The Docker tutorial will use port 80, but then once it does that, that's in use and there's no really easy way to do it other than through the command line. I'm going to be straight up. I'm getting this from a Stack Overflow post. The title, how do I assign port mapping to an existing Docker container? Essentially, you're just cloning an existing container and then committing a new one based on it. And from there, you're then committing with rerun from the committed image and you're assigning a custom port to it. Okay, so in this case, test one is the original, test two is the new. So what I've done here, I've just put these commands with my own into Notepad++. I don't need to do that, okay? I don't need to stop because I've stopped it already in Docker. You can see they're exited, they're not running. If you see here, there's a button to start but not to stop. So that's fine. But you can do that there in the command line if you prefer. And so then I'm just going to take the, the line here and go into Windows command line. I don't know if it matters. I've gone into program files, docker, docker by using the cd command, but you know, whatever works. I'm just going to paste that in and you see you get the SHA hash or the encryption thing. That's a, basically a sign that it has worked. And then you want to do again, let's go back to the next one. And then if I run it, now this I need to change because I used it for my last one. It was driving me insane. I couldn't get it to work on the first run of doing this video but and now I've copied and pasted that let's see so note that you're using the name here not the image name okay that was really confusing me so if I do that so you can see my new one is called my port I did have one previously called new port but I'm just going to call this my port and hopefully magically there you go my port has created and it is running on port 8686. Exciting Laderberg. No idea where these names come from, but hey, whatever. That's fine by me. And if you're not sure, just the point to note, if you're not sure what ports are free, I mean, you can usually play around. Just use the net stat and you can see then different ports that have been established. Maybe that's not specific enough. Just to stop it running, press Control C and then you can also do the a bit more so anno p tcp and then you can determine what is using what program now i'm not sure exactly how you do that but hey you can work through at least you get an idea of your ports from here i hope you found it useful i'll see you in another video soon thanks for watching